Hello, I'm Mike Kinderleiter with PowerWash.com and today's spray tip, we're going to talk about how to set the unloader. We have a Pulsar Easy Start Unloader. This unloader allows you to crank the machine without building up pressure in the line. We've added a test gauge here so we can see the pressure that's on the machine so we can set the unloader. And I'll talk about the pressure ranges and stuff in a moment. One thing we want to be aware of when we're using this test gauge though is the optimum spot to have it is here at the head of the pump. That's not always the case. It's not easy to have one on every machine. So we have it here at the end of the gun. We have a real short hose, so it's not that big a deal. But if you're running it through a coil or through a extended series of, of pressure hoses, you're gonna lose about a pressure, one pressure um, per foot of pressure hose. So if I had 100 foot of pressure hose, I'm probably gonna lose about 100 PSI. If I'm running it through a coil, um, you're gonna lose some pressure there as well, probably around 50 to 100 PSI. Just cause the restrictions as you go through each turn and stuff, uh, you get pressure loss. And it could be as much as 200 PSI. So be aware of that. Um, if you know your equipment, always start here. Later, you can use a test gauge like this to get good accurate readings. When I pull the trigger, it'll, I'll get a pressure reading here. <clears throat> what happens when I'm not running full pressure is this unloader's not set all the way. So a little bit of water's being bypassed and it's just getting circulated back in. Then when I, uh, so I'm gonna adjust it up to full pressure so the maximum gallons per minute is being pushed through the machine. But when I release the trigger, this pressure is going to climb and stop because this is a pressure trapping unloader. And when it stops, we refer to that as the spike. And I want an optimum spike around three to 400 PSI. So now I'm going to start this up. We're going to demonstrate it and we're going to set the pressure on this unloader or the, uh, yeah, set the spike. So I'm going to pull the trigger. Looks like I'm running about 2800, 2900 PSI. And I let off the trigger. I got about 3200. 3, so I got about a 300, 300 pound spike here. Now I'm going to go back to the machine. I kind of tamped that shout because that machine's making a little noise. So what I did is I turned the adjustment on the unloader down about one full revolution. I made about five short turns, which were quarter turns. Um, so I went a little over a full revolution. Now I'm running 3,600 PSI. My spike's about 3,900. So I still got some more pressure to get out of this machine because this is a 4,000 PSI machine. I gave it about another full revolution turn. I'm at maximum pressure, 4,000 PSI. 4,500 is my spike pressure. I'm gonna go back it off a quarter turn and see what I get. I backed it off because I'm over that 400 pound PSI uh, spike. Running right at 3950, 3950 PSI. Looks like I'm right at uh, 4350, maybe 4400 PSI on my spike. So I've set this machine at its optimum pressure and its optimum spike. Now if I end up with a spike that's 500, 800 PSI over its maximum pressure, there's something else going on with the machine and you need to troubleshoot to see what else needs to be fixed. So that's today's uh, spray tip. I'm Mike Kinderleiter with PowerWash.com. If you need a pressure washer, parts, supplies, chemicals, or training, please give us a call. 1-800-433-2113. Or you can find us on the web 
at www.powerwash.com. Don't be afraid to get dirty. Have a safe and successful day. When I grow up, I want to be a power washer just like my daddy. Ha, ha, ha.